Uptown Espresso in Magnolia, the Magnolia neighborhood of Seattle. And we got one hour parking, so we're good. Because I got here, went in, got my stuff. So I got three things. Up first is an espresso, which is $3.70, because it's Uptown Espresso, home of the Velvet Foam, a Seattle coffee shop chain founded in 1984. The best coffee chain founded in Seattle, by the way. So here's my espresso. I have not drank it yet. And then I, so that one was $3.70 pre-tax. I got an oatmeal cookie. They did not have the ginger molasses that I was coming here to do a, I had shown the ginger molasses before on the channel in September, 2020 at a different location. So they didn't have it. So I went with a different thing, which I can still go back and get the vegan cookie. See if they have a oatmeal cookie at PCC. I was going to do a cookie off. Which one has the better ginger molasses? And I guess, not for now in my life, but so I got an oatmeal cookie. So this one was $5 pre-tax. And then I got a gluten-free coffee loaf. This is a coffee cake loaf, I should say. Coffee cake. And this one was $6, yeah. And I tip, and then there was tax and sales tax and stuff, and I tipped $2.04, so my total for all of this was $18.64. Um, so yeah, and so this is Seattle chain. They have a number of locations, and I, there's two West Seattle locations. So I'll link in the description to that video from West Seattle from like, it was like 6 September, 2020. So a while ago. And let's begin, I'm gonna start with the coffee cake, actually. Coffee coffee cake bunt gluten-free oh it's gluten-free as well get a picture i was online looking and i didn't i couldn't it looked like there was street parking but there's actually a parking lot as well all right let's see Now, if I were to pursue running, so this is like a running Scotland collision. So if I were to pursue running, I'm gonna do that in the case I were to move to Scotland, where would I compete? As I munch and drink. It's a more subtle coffee cake flavor. Oh, also, I paid with my credit card, but I had them send a receipt via text message. I didn't even know that could be done. I like the topping, like the frosting. That's a good, good flavor too. So, local competitions, considering my personal best time in the one mile run. So, person, local Scotland competitions that contest the one mile run that I could compete in. Not really interested in the British national championships, maybe the Scotland national championships. This is the case I moved to Scotland. And then internationally, maybe like the Russian Solidarity Games. In 2022, over 20 com countries competed in that. And it's high frequency. Like there were nine or 13 segments or something. So like they contested the one mile run each time. That's like 13 championships competitions in one year, which is like way up my alley. I'm not at all interested in the once every four years, uh, which kind of like sends a message that athletes aren't really worth investment. I don't know. It's a, I, I like the Russians have a good, if you can actually do what you do, do it more than once in a year, <laughs> and do it nine times in a year, do it 13 times in a year. And I like that. So, yeah. Now, 
this is just for my tastes it's kind of depressing world championships or somebody only gets to race something once a year if even that <laughs> on the highest frequency end I would prefer something more competitive and more conducive to how my body works. Russian solidarity games. Now, when would I get started? Also, back to the food because I'm about to finish it. It's good. It's a little on the denter side. I love that it's not sickeningly sweet. I love that it's gluten free. For gluten free, this is probably one of the best gluten free cake products I've had. Coffee cake or otherwise. I have a 24 out of 10. Again, I'm having water. See, there's the bottom. <laughs> it's my water bottle. Okay. It was very good. All right, let's do the espresso next. I took a picture with my phone before I got in my cart with the Uptown Espresso logo in the background. Okay, we'll do one more view. Oh, that, that's why I wrote it down the prices on that half note card was a, uh, because it got texted me and I, I'm filming with my phone, so it's like, occasionally. Okay, Ooh, it's not bitter. I'll give that one a 30 out of 10. And now I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to go to a place where I played soccer and ran as part of playing soccer after this, or at least that's the intent. If I'm not all hyped up, I can't drive, you know, <laughs> coffee, espresso. Um, yeah, I, I, I completely lost my train of thought there. Okay. Last item. Um, as well as when would I start competing? Well, and before I delve into that, the last item is an oat. They called it an oatmeal cookie in this display case. It looks like it has potentially raisins and white chocolate chips. And you guys know white chocolate, per my my view, is the best chocolate. So there we go. Um. Well, my Leon. So if we move to Scotland, my Leon would like to take me for 28 days to the countryside of France. He's French. And he would like to make sweet, sweet love to me, which would be the first time I've made consent. I've been raped, but I have not lost my like consensual waking virginity. And so uh, outside of marriage, I know. Well, outside of public marriage, we'll put it that way. There's private marriage, which is a different thing, but we have not been publicly married. Uh, is that necessary? I don't know. He don't, he don't know. He, he, he know more than I know. Um, and so he wants to take me there, so make sweet, sweet love to me. Sweet, sweet love is, uh, for 28 days, right? Where the purpose is to enjoy each other. So some days we might go out and explore the French countryside and which I'm okay with. I used to do it at the gym. I used to, uh, do stationary bicycle that had like this screen as me pedaling through the countryside of France, France. I'm okay with the countryside of France. Leon seems to think I'm more of a French countryside kind of girl instead of French cities kind of girl. I don't disagree. But he's got to woo me, you know. So some days we might stay in a castle of sorts. And then um, 
This is good. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. I think they are white chocolate chips. Yay! Um, should go for 28 days and then return and kind of view it as like four weeks off, month off, but less than a month of uh, kind of just getting adjusted to living together and then returning to Scotland. So we're trying to make that trip pretty soon after moving to Scotland. Going back to Scotland and kind of integrating sweet, sweet loving into our daily routine, morning, noon, and evening, if we can. But sweet, sweet loving is belly to belly, him on top of me, he is alpha, his face to my face, his hips roughly to my hips, he's taller than me. So, uh, oh, and lights on because he is too beautiful to not be seen. And um, whether or not our faces align depends on something I abbreviate HH, hiney height. So a hiney is a person's butt. And so it depends on how high his hiney is when he's humping me. Can a woman hump from below? I don't know. Be new exploration for me in waking mode. And, um, if you don't know what humping is, there's actually multiple meanings to that word. I'm talking about the one where I used to have pet dogs, like, or I had pet dogs growing up. That's the one where a dog gets really excited and what it does to a human's leg when it gets really excited. Excitement and, and loving between two humans, though. Okay. And, um... Yeah, I know. He and I were both little free colas. Like, you know, Ricola, the cough, cough drops? Only with free, free colas. Yeah. So, normalize that over 28 days. Because I haven't done that in my life. And he hasn't. I'm his only lady. We're soulmates. Um, and then integrate that back in, in Scotland. And get me down to my like optimized running weight which is like closer to 110 plus or minus a few pounds my best times i don't know i feel good and could like compete in running and have um those kind of but not necessarily have at that weight but like competition legs are different than just like running fast time legs and 112 pounds has been good for me um i've still it's middle distance, right, the one mile run, and a lean physique is really good. How are we doing on time? Ah! I forgot to take a picture of this. Thanks. There's little green things. I'll give it a 16 out of 10. A happy sweet eat from the Seattle coffee chain, 1984, Epton Espresso, Magnolia location.